So it's really important that we do practice our morning and evening daily meditation practice, Vipassana meditation practice. But it's also even more important that we are able to implement that practice into real life. So in the morning and evening practice, right, basically what we are learning to do is we are learning to observe different sensation inside ourselves with equanimity. Of course, with the understanding of impermanence, but ultimately, if we are doing it right, we should be able to observe when the sensation comes more equanimously, right? Instead of being overwhelmed and start reacting to them. It, if, the, if we are doing our practice correctly, right? The fruition is that in the real life, when this sensation comes unpredictably, we should be able to observe them with equanimity also. So, in the real life, right, into our day-to-day -day life, right, I mean, if you are practicing Vipassana, if you are living in the environment where a lot of people are practicing uh, different spiritual practices of Vipassana, it may be easier, right, to deal with the people on a day-to-day basis. But in the real life, I mean, most of the people or 99% of the people are doing the same thing including us, right? We are getting attached to different sensation and this is all we care about, right? So basically, most of the time you are dealing with the people who are extremely attached to their ideas, right? Extremely attached to their belief system or extremely attached to their feelings, right? Generally, unless we really mature, most of us just really care about like how I feel, right? What are my ideas? And when you interact with another person, right? If you are not acting according to their ideas or, you know, acting in a way that is not making them feel good, they're going to react, right? They're going to react in the sense of either they are going to start accusing you <laughs> directly or they start going to kind of withdraw from you or, you know, if they are very powerful, they can even force you to do certain things, right? On the other hand, if you act in a way which makes you feel, which makes other people feel nice or which are according to their belief system or, you know, according to their ideas, they're going to accept you. They're going to love you. They're going to praise you. They're going to accept you, right? And most of the time, people doesn't really care what is your feeling or belief or ideas. And if you express your feeling and belief and ideas, and if it is in the conflict of other people, uh, they are most likely again doing the same thing, kind of accusing you, getting withdrawn from you, forcing you. But if you are just listening to their ideas and something like that, they are going to love you, right? That's how the world is, basically. That's how you, you're going to see most of the time people are acting around you, even the people who are very close to you. And this is where the practice of Vipassana really helps you to get mature in spirituality, right? If you are like, so if you are practicing it right, right? These moments when people are reacting towards you, right? Because you just, you're doing something not aligned with, you know, their belief system or feelings that reaction is going to produce un uncomfortable sensation inside yourself right and that uncomfortable sensation you should be able to handle if you are still reacting to those uncomfortable sensation or people are accepting you and you're still kind of getting attached to those comfortable sensation then there isn't much point of practicing vipassana right i mean it's nice you get a little bit calm but you're missing the whole point, right? The whole point is in the real world, we should be able to handle it and we should be able to using these opportunities to kind of get better, right? To gain, kind of get more mature. And in fact, like if you're doing it right, deep inside ourselves, there should be gratitude actually that, you know, people around us in a way is behaving unwholesomely, hopefully not all the time, but at least they are giving us opportunity for us to practice letting go of these uh, attachment to certain sensations, right? 
So it's really important that we actually do practice it. And at least we should be able to, we should be comfortable with being rejected or being, you know, accused and being, people being withdrawn from us, people being accepting us and all these basic few, you know, common things that we have to deal with on day to day basis, right? Doesn't mean like, you know, we don't act in a way that is, you know, of course, like you have to kind of, you know, push, you you have to be able to assert your own ideas and beliefs, but that's not the point here, right? The point is, did you lose the center? Like, did you lose your equanimity, right? When somebody was kind of out of balance and they were kind of accusing you or doing all these different things, did you lose the balance or did you maintain your balance inside? And then if you if you are able to maintain the balance, right, if you're able to maintain equanimity, your response is generally very, very good, right? If somebody, I mean, there's nothing more attractive, right, in any form of relationship when somebody has lost their balance and they are just reacting and internally you are in a complete balance, right, and you are not reacting to that in balance state, right? when somebody is kind of accusing you. And there is like a very clear understanding. There's nothing, I mean, you, the person not even listening to you, right? There's nothing really wrong or something unwholesome you are doing. It's just that person is not, you know, uh, under control. They, I mean, person, first of all, it's like really sad that nobody has taught them like this whole attachment thing you need to be careful about. And, they are just lost in their own world, right? And you can see that if you are still in the equanimous state when somebody is out of balance and they are reacting towards you also, right? So at least we should be able to handle these basics reaction from the people, right? Reaction of being accepted, reaction of kind of, you know, being accused, withdrawn from and being pushed to do something right and i think the life becomes really beautiful when you are able to do that right instead of kind of pulling you in their reactive state and kind of affecting your internal state and then you lost in your own internal state and reacting to all the emotions and sensations once we are able to reach the point where we can handle these kind of you know external stimulus you will feel a lot more free, right? A lot more liberated. Like that's the whole point of Vipassana, like gradual liberation. And that's how I think, in my opinion, you can also assess how much your practice actually helping you to grow, right? And this is also why serving in the Vipassana centers could be very, very useful. Because what happens is like in daily life, it's really, really difficult right? When people are reacting like this all the time around you and pretty much this is happening all the time, right? In a different format. At least in the Vipassana center also the same thing happens, like when you're serving, people are reacting around you. The other servers are reacting around you, right? Sometimes the people who are attending the course, they are reacting very badly. But because the environment is like that, mostly it is, more, you know, mostly it is silent and you are also practicing quite a lot of meditation at that point it is much more slower, right? The whole experience comes to you much more slower and you have a more time to kind of practice it slowly, right? So it, it, it's much better place to kind of develop this muscle to be able to handle different reactions from other people and then bring it to in the real life, right? And I think the more we are able to handle these reactions from other people, the more compassion and gratitude automatically builds inside ourselves, right? Otherwise, unless we can handle these uh, emotions inside ourselves, uh, it's very unlikely there's any kind of gratitude or any kind of compassion is really building up, right? We might be having like a wholesome ideology or we might be having like a more emotional heart, but unless we're really able to handle our own inner states, it's very unlikely we are going to be able to develop compassion.